It's Isabel and Katie. Hello. Today we're cooking vegan chocolate brownies. We've made these before, but we're trying to perfect our recipe. So right now I'm just shredding the zucchini. I know, kind of weird, zucchini for chocolate brownies. But they are vegan and uh, they're kind of healthy. Don't tell anyone there's vegetables in them. Although there's plenty of sugar, so it depends on how you want to spin it to your friends. While I shred this, how was your day, Isabel? It was good. Um, well. You don't know what to say? Let's start over, maybe. Well, what did you do today? I forgot. Do you know what I did? What? Well, I went to work. And I dyed my hair. Oh, nice! For all of our beautiful viewers. And uh, the highlight, low light of my day was that I tried one of the Dum Dum lollipops. Have you ever had those at like yeah. the bank or whatever? Yeah, I tried one at work yeah. that was a mystery flavor. Uh -oh. Guess what flavor it was? Well, Guess. Um, I don't know. Pepperoni pizza. Why do they even have that flavor? I don't know. I could seriously taste like the tomato sauce, the crust, <laughs> seriously? the cheese. Yes, that would be but like gross. all coated in sugar. Why in this, did like, you try to make a little lollipop? I never even heard of that flavor. Too. It was gross, but I ate it. I ate it all. Why do they even have that flavor? I, I never know. heard of it either. I don't know. Have you ever heard of me and Bishop eating that? We always get good ones. Like, I usually... Hurley got a bone. Hurley got my bone off of the table, Bishop. Mama, I'm not kidding. Are you saying that Hurley got a better flavor than I did? No! Hurley just grabbed my bone off of the table. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Our dog literally just jumped up behind the camera and grabbed Isabeau's bone off of the table. Yeah. <laughs> Sad face. Not really. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't a waste, at least. Yeah, he ate it. At least he'll be hungry. Yeah. So, how is the chocolate coming, Isabel? It was, it's coming good. It's getting, it's, it's very liquefied and really still eating. So, it's not really <laughs> magic, right? Like, we heated that chocolate up before. Yes. So, what kind of chocolate did we use? We eat it, <laughs> we made, we got some dark chocolate. It's vegan. Right. Um, Last time we made these brownies, we used a vegan dark cocoa powder. That's what was recommended. But I heard that the very best brownies are made with your favorite chocolate bar. And I love dark chocolate. So what you could do to make these is just pick your favorite vegan chocolate bar and just melt that. You can even use your own recipe if you like to, but we're just... So, your just own so recipe for chocolate bars? Yeah. Really? Yes. You have a recipe for chocolate bars? No, other people do. My, if you have a recipe for chocolate bars, as Isabel assumes you do, you can use that. If you want, but just so that you don't have to watch us make two things. Bo is just adding the chocolate to our dry ingredients right now. So she's got two cups of all-purpose flour. She's adding about half a cup of melted chocolate bar. She's got one and a half teaspoons of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt. Right here, I've got one half cup of vegetable oil. 
that I'm putting into a separate bowl. I have got one and a half cups of granulated sugar and two, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So it says I might make a that mess. I should mix that. Yeah, and that you might make a mess. All right, <laughs> let's see how this goes. Here, let me help you. Okay. It's really yeah. hard to get out the chocolate. I know. I totally get it. So, what else did you do today? Um. Well, today I played on. We made um. We made a. We made little things with movie things. So we just movie things. Um, little movie um edits like like avalanches like just come on the screen like you just act. Then it comes on the screen. Through the computer or? Just the phone. Aiden's oh, phone. Aiden's phone, our neighbor. Oh, yes. gotcha. So I was in a few with rocks. Like, I will, um, so we did some on the trampoline, some out. We did some on our, um, on our go-kart. It was really fun. Mm-hmm. Um, that's pretty much what I did today. What did you do? I already told you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nothing really special. You wanna lick the spoon? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Good. got that done. Uh-huh. Sorry viewers. We don't have this memorized. Alright, we <laughs> We need to add the dry ingredients, which would be Bo's ingredients, plus the chocolate, which we haven't done that way before, and it's kind of confusing. Um, Bo, I need a spoon. Okay, let me put this spoon. Spoon, spoon, where's the spoon? Bo is getting a spoon, 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 where's the spoon? Bo is getting a spoon, spoon. There you go. Uh, it's not the spoon I wanted, but she got a spoon. So I can't complain because Bo has got a spoon. Are you gonna sing though? Bo can do this thing. Because it's boring to sing that. Bo didn't get the spoon I wanted, but I'll use the spoon. It's so boring to sing. Hmm? I said, yeah. okay. Yeah. Wait, uh, 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 oh. That's what you need. I know I did that. So, I can wash it off. no, it's fine. Uh, so, oh, I need to put in the zucchini. And, Isabel? Yes. This will be like our big, great wet ingredient, but we might need some water on the side. So, if you could get. A spoon. Sure. No. <laughs> if you could get, like, Mmm, three tablespoons of water. This is two cups of zucchini that I just added to this mixture. So, so far, we have two cups all-purpose flour, half a cup of chocolate, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon salt, half a cup of vegetable oil, one and a half cup sugar, two teaspoons vanilla e extract, and two cups of shredded zucchini. What's a cup? <laughs> you don't need a cup. You need three teaspoons, tablespoons, three um, tablespoons of water. Where is the tablespoons then? Um, there are tablespoons. Oh, wait, yes. where, where these works? Uh, no, that's not a tablespoon. That's Look for the colorful spoons in there. Uh, oh, I see it. You see? Yeah. This is much chunkier than last time I made it with the powder. Magical. So I'm thinking that the water will be very helpful this time. I didn't add any water last time I made this recipe, but I did use a powdered cocoa, not actual melted chocolate. So. You can do either one if you want. Yes, that is true. So this is a tablespoon. Yes, 
if you just have some so random one. cocoa powder and you don't have a chocolate bar, then you can use that instead. Or go out to the store and buy a chocolate bar, or you just use your own recipe. Yeah, according to Bo, just do your own thing. Just do it. It'll be good. All right, that's a much wetter brownie. Really nice. Mm -hmm. You want it like cookie dough. It's nice and thick like cookie dough. I don't want to get it too moist. Your phone's going to get chocolated. <laughs> I don't want to get the dough too moist or it'll be ruined. But you can see, kind of, maybe, it's really thick. You want it like cookie dough thick. This brownie is a vegan brownie. So there's no egg, no milk to help moisten that batter. So you want a really thick cookie dough batter. It's going to make a really fudgy brownie. All right, so um, Bo, we need to pause it and do some magic. Okay. So, if we forgot to tell you earlier, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you want to put aluminum foil in your baking dish, usually a 9 by 13 dish. Uh, line it with aluminum foil, oil it lightly, as Bo oiled ours, um, and the batter is smushing around as I show it to you. But you can see that we've put our batter in our casserole dish. It is about to go into our oven of 350 degrees. We're going to cook our brownies for about 25 to 30 minutes, depending on your elevation. You don't want to do the toothpick test, but you do want to touch them lightly and see if your brownie bounces back. If it bounces back, it's probably ready. And here are our brownies. So try it as well. How is it? Are you just saying that because you made them? No, nope. it is really good. Is it really good? Mm -hmm. Is it better with the chocolate bar than the cocoa powder? I think so, yeah. Because yeah. it's a little more chewy and the other ones crumbled a little easier. Hmm. So when you had it in your mouth, it, you needed water to drink it. Would you say you this is fudgier? It. Yeah. All right. Score.